that's uh, that's the shell. So. Bedin, how are you? There's a lack of humanity with respect to Syria because when we talk about Syria, we always talk about figures. We always say, in Syria, one in three people are displaced, or there's 2.8 million refugees outside Syria. But to the normal person, what does that mean? Nobody understands that on a daily basis, children in refugee camps cannot have a shelter that is proper to go through winter or a woman cannot deliver in a safe environment, or a child is suffering of a preventable disease. This is what is the daily life of someone from Syria. One of the major challenges we face in Syria is to be able to deliver safe aid without putting at risk either our team or our patient. The reality is we don't have the reach that we would like to the civilian population. But what we're trying to do is to attend to the most needy patient that we can reach. It's always going to be a challenge for us. We have camps in all countries around Syria. People are in the camps for a long time. People here have seen bombing, shellings, sometimes family members die. It has a very big impact on the psychological well-being. <laughs> أكيد بحط حالي محلها وشغلة كتير صعبة وأنا بقدر يعني مثل اليوم المرة وقت اللي عم تخبرنا إنه البيبي مات فهاي شغلة كتير صعبة All of our patients are newly injured in the conflict usually because of blasts or bullets قام جعلنا صاروخ شور إنه ما لي حسيت إنه ما لي جرين Most of our patients, they have a story other than his actual injury. They come with two or three tragedies. What we are trying here is to giving hope for these patients by trying to alleviate their pain. It takes time. People treat crises as figures. We don't understand what is at stake. The reality is all crises has a human side to it. And that's what this project is about, to show the human face of the crisis in Syria. <laughs>